Some years ago, a man narrated his experience to me. He had a dream, and in his dream, he saw himself stark naked. He said when he woke up from that dream, he ignored it. He just prayed a snappy prayer and left it. Exactly three months after he had that dream, that dream began to have physical bad implication manifestation in his lives. And that's why I tell you, don't ever ignore your dreams. Anytime you have a dream, as soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chat narrating your dream for free interpretation and ministration on your dream. Add me on WhatsApp with plus two three four na zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. Freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. Today makes it the sixth part of this particular topic we have been treating dreams in the Bible. Do you know that are enemies of good dreams? Yes. In part five, we saw that Joseph in the Bible, Joseph in the Old Testament, had a good dream. He had a dream about God's destiny for him, the destiny for greatness. And later in that same chapter, that is Genesis chapter 37, verse 18 to 20, we find that the siblings of Joseph, his brethren, they conspired against him. They tried to kill him so that his dream, his God's given dream, will not come to pass, so that he will not fulfill his destiny and purpose. As the Lord God of Israel lives, you and I, we will fulfill God's destiny. We will fulfill God's purpose for our lives in Jesus' mighty name. There are dream killers. There are dream stoppers. But they will not stop you or I in Jesus' name. Before I pray for you, don't forget that number. Use it to add me on WhatsApp and narrate your dream. Plus 234-905927. 0030. Lay your hand on your head. I want to pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the devil, demons, men and women will not stop God's destiny and purpose for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.